Hello, YouTubers out there. Oops, sorry. Yeah. All right. Hey, it's Matt. Uh, and I have the long-awaited review of episode four of Eastbound and Down, starring Dan McBride, as can be seen on HBO Sunday nights at 10.30 Eastern Time, probably about 7.30 Pacific Time, I guess you could say, depending on blackouts and all that other things on HBO. Like I said, this is the fourth episode of Eastbound and Down. Uh, just a quick refresher. Uh, Dan McBride plays a washed-up baseball player named Kenny Powers, who used to pitch for the Atlanta Braves and assorted other teams, I believe also Seattle. And now he has uh, his career is uh, basically done. Now he's back living in his hometown in um, I think it's either North or South Carolina, and he's a middle school uh, gym teacher now. So enough of the uh, backstory. But so this is the fourth episode. And uh, in my opinion, this has to be the best episode that they've had so far, I think. I think episode four is finally when this show is really starting to hit its stride. Uh, the first three episodes, by, you know, by, by no means, they were really, really funny. But this has to be the, the point of the, of the season, because I don't know how many more episodes are going to be having this season. I don't know if it's going to be another two episodes, or if it's going to be another four episodes, or what. So, uh, I don't know about that. Getting to the whole uh, review of the uh, movie, uh, of the show, the show starts out with uh, Stevie, who's basically become Kenny Powers' uh, personal assistant. He's created some type of uh, uh, tape for Kenny Powers to kind of showcase and send out to the, his pro scouts that he thinks he's still going to get to uh, get back into baseball. And he, he's doing this, and he's still, still also receiving... Uh, steroids from his uh, dealer in the uh, in the bar. Uh, I believe his name was uh, I want to say Clint, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure. No, uh, Clay. Clay's his dealer. Who always gives he gives him the mushrooms, he gives him the cocaine. I'm sure he gives him the weed, and uh, gives him the uh, ecstasy, and now he's giving him steroids. So the whole point of this episode is that he's trying to get his name back out there because he still wants to be uh, go back up to the to the major leagues. And he uh, is told by the principal, who's also April, who kind of plays his, uh, the girl that he wants to get back with, the girl that he lost a long time ago, and the uh, principal, uh, Cutler's her fiancé. So he was not invited to a barbecue that April's having, so he decides to get even. Basically, he asks his uh, uh, prostitute girl that he knows that he's met at the bar with Clay, to come with him to the uh, to the party, to basically make uh, make April jealous. So uh, hilarity ensues. He goes to the party, and it ends up that uh, Tracy starts hitting on uh, Cutler during the course of the party. They both get pissed drunk off tequila, while Kenny's trying to move his way uh, to do something with uh, April. And he does, and he gets about almost there, but then he has a uh, premature problem. So. You have to watch the show to see what the premature problem is. And basically he gets pissed off uh, later on because Tracy's acting like a, like a drunk uh, uh, prostitute, I guess you could say, while, she, while she's hitting on uh, Cutler. Kenny gets so pissed off. Cutler uh, basically talks shit to Kenny. And uh, Kenny makes a fool of himself and that's the end of the party. So nothing ends right for Kenny in this episode. Now, um, what I gotta say about, because since, since he is using the steroids now, Danny McBride's creating a character at this point right now where the character is very hard to feel sorry for, but at the same time you do kind of feel sorry for this character. So I think he's creating a very dynamic character in the in this show where it's a baseball player who's obviously washed up and it parallels a lot of baseball players that are washed up. But, uh, one of the people, one of the person, one of the people that comments in one of my videos, say John Rocker. I say Daryl Strawberry. I say Dwight Gooden. I see uh, maybe even Ken, uh, Ken Caminiti to a degree, and he's kind of taking on this idea that this is what happens to baseball players after they get washed up or get involved in drugs and have bad careers and make bad career decisions. So I like how Danny McBride is actually 
creating a character that's really hilarious and absolutely crazy in this movie and the show, but he's also creating a character that's very sentimental and you actually kind of have to feel bad about how down and out he is. So, um, that's the, uh, basic, the basic gist of this episode. Uh, if you haven't seen the show yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. If you have On Demand or something like that, you need to catch up from the very, very beginning. Watch episodes one through four and get into the show. Because I hope this show lasts for a while. Whether it will or not, I don't know. And I don't know if HBO is stupid enough to give up on a show like this. Because the show is basically taken over for where Curb and Enthusiasm has left off. And it's, it's a filling a void for all the uh, comedies that HBO doesn't really have right now that are very good. I mean, Summer Sites High, it was, yeah, it was decent, but I don't want the show to end up like another Lucky, Lucky Louie, where it kind of lasted for a little bit, it wasn't funny enough, and it fizzled out like that. So, that's about it for the review tonight. I'm going to drink a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale uh, and relax for the night, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the videos if you want more of this, and I will Catch you guys on the flip side. See you later.